what's up everyone welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to give you a quick tutorial of the microsoft power automate platform and its different features and benefits so microsoft power automate is an automation platform that allows you to automate tasks on the cloud and to open it probably the easiest way is to start a new google search search for microsoft power automate hit enter and the first result is what you want, the Microsoft Power Automate link. Once you click on it, you will be redirected to this homepage or the homepage of the Power Automate tools right here. Now, if you scroll down, you can see some of the benefits here. You can optimize processes and uncover business automation opportunities with task and process mining. You can automate your tasks here across nearly unlimited system, desktop apps and websites with the power of AI and digital processes. And you can also scale automation across your organization with built-in security, governance and 360 degree monitoring, as well as accelerate digital transformation with automation infused apps, websites, co-pilots and more. And if you scroll down even more, you can see some other uh, features here as well as some companies that do trust them and the pricing. Now you can get a free trial for 30 days, including all the premium features. And if you want the Power Automate Premium, you'll pay $15 per user per month. And the Power Automate process will cost you $150 per user or per bot per month. Now you can see or get the uh, like benefits or features of each plan right here. And you can buy a plan from uh, right from there. However, we will try for free the free trial, but just in a second. Now here you can find a partner or become a partner to Power Automate. And here some uh, statistics and some companies that use them as well. Now let's start a free trial here for the free trial. Try for free. Here you need to enter my email, so I'll enter it pretty quickly. Okay, now I need to create a new account. So I need to choose whether I got this email from my organization or my personal email. Let's say I got it from an org my organization. Next. Now I need to create my account. Now entering my business phone number, creating a password, adding the verification code that will be sent to me. Okay, now entering the password. And the confirming the password once again. And now the verification code that is sent to my inbox. Now I'm going to check it pretty quickly and then enter it here. And when I checked my inbox, indeed there was an email from Microsoft uh, Power Automate with the code. Here it is. Okay. And now next. Oh, I forgot to add my first and last name. So I'll enter them pretty quickly. Okay. Now next. And now I'm done. All I need to do is to click on get started right here. And my username is the same as my email. So get started. Okay. Now my organization need to uh, like confirm their uh, identity here. I have 14 days until this is required. So I'm going to ask, uh, click on ask later. Okay. Stay signed in. Uh, yes or no. For me, I'll just click on no. Okay, so now I'm on the Microsoft 365 uh, homepage right here. And here I can uh, go ahead and view all the apps. And here I have Power Automate, I have add-ons and Power Pages. So I'll click on Power Automate. It'll open up in a new tab here. And here I'm on my Automate dashboard. So here I have some tutorials ranging from beginner to intermediate all the way to advanced here. So each course or each uh, like resource is labeled beginner, intermediate or advanced. So you can go ahead and learn more about how to use automate to your advantage. Here I can create a new automation. I can see the templates I can learn. I can see my flows right here. So if I click on my flows, as you can see, I don't have any flows yet, any cloud flows, any desktop flows, any flows shared with me. So let's check the template pretty quickly. And I can search the template and sort by popularity, by name, or by publish time. And as you can see, you have lots of templates to automate uh, tasks or integrate between different platforms. So, for example, the, the very first one is to save Outlook.com email attachments to your OneDrive. I can set it to automatically send or store any uh, attachment. 
so I can set it to automatically save any attachments that are sent to my Outlook email right to uh, my OneDrive or similarly this one I can automate to save email attachments from outlook.com uh, email inbox directly to my Dropbox account here or my Dropbox uh, storage and I have many other types so for example here send me an email when a survey response is submitted on survey one two three let's say I want to find automations that uh, do work with slack for example so if I search for slack and here post message on slack and teams when new channel message is added on teams and here get office 365 email notification forwarded to a slack channel so you can see all the automations and you can even get automations that are not related to microsoft services for example get notifications on slack here that related to adobe and here for example every day post values from sql row to a specific slack channel or post message on slack when a document is uploaded on ideagen so as you can see you have lots of automations right here and let's search for automations that are related to microsoft word okay create a task in microsoft to do when a message starts with word to do on teams okay and um you get the point you have many automations here so they didn't actually search for microsoft word okay let's search for microsoft word and here, for example, you have the create a Word document and PDF documents from my, uh, Microsoft Forms. So let's go ahead and try this one. So if you click on any template, you can start using it. And it opens the template here. So it's from Microsoft Forms to Microsoft Forms uh, plus Mail, Documents, and OneDrive. So these are the platforms that are included. And the flow will connect to Microsoft Forms plus mail document and OneDrive. So you need to be signed in to the, all of these accounts in order to create the link and allow the automation to work. Let's search for one simpler or actually let's create an automation from scratch. And here you can choose the automation type if it's automated cloud flow, instant cloud flow, scheduled cloud flow, describe it or others. So let's select for example, instant cloud flow. Let's give it a name test for example. Um, select the type here. Let's select the first one, manually trigger a flow, create. Okay, now in a flow or an automation task, you have uh, two steps. You have the trigger with the uh, task that will trigger the automation and the task stuff. So for example, once you click on this button, stuff will happen. So here you can add a trigger to this workflow. Okay, allow it, add an action. For example, let's say for Microsoft or Office 365 users, you can get user profile and the connection here you need to sign into your office 365 or you need to create a connection to office 365 users here and if i click on the plus icon i can add an action or add a parallel branch so i can add uh, like a complicated automation or workflow here okay let's select microsoft teams for example add a member to teams and the trigger is controlled manually now I can add input here for the trigger. Let's add an input. A, for example, yes or no. So select, please select yes or no, okay. That's good enough for me. And here, as you can see, you have the canvas to add as many connections as you want. So uh, if I click, for example, on add a team to, or add a member to teams, I need the tenant ID here to be initialized so I need to sign in in order to to Microsoft Teams in order to continue with this automation now um, let's go back okay let's cancel this one and as you can see I don't have any flow since I didn't save it let's start with a simple uh, template here one from templates okay notify me an email okay let's actually use the save outlook email to OneDrive so I need to sign in to outlook.com and OneDrive so I'm going to sign in Okay, let the app access my info, accept. Okay, and now let's sign into OneDrive. Okay, and after the same uh, approval on OneDrive, now the uh, connection is on. Now create the flow. Now the flow is created. My flow is ready to go. Okay, got it. And now the workflow is on. And now if I go to my flows, 
as you can see the workflow is now added and it's automated so now whenever i get any email with attachments on my outlook email the attachment will be automatically downloaded to my onedrive uh, storage so this is how you create it now i can edit it here and here I can see the menu from for new email or apply a menu from applying the attachment. I can even add a new step right here, adding a built-in app or standard premium custom or from my clipboard. So I can add another step to make it like more complicated uh, flow here. And I can add another step here in the middle. So um, as you can see here, I created a flow and this is the way to edit it or add a new step. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can navigate and create flows in Microsoft Power Automate.